fractions are not equivalent then one must be greater or lesser comparing fractions we're coming to lesson eight and we are about to determine whether fractions are equal bigger smaller or even try to arrange them in a particular order before we do anything fraction must be in their simplest form before you compare there has to be a basis for comparison why are you comparing them okay they must be in their simplest form and then we can now decide whether they are equal greater or lesser let's see fractions with the same denominator okay example having the same denominator means that the old was divided into the same number of parts an easy way that i like to remember this is a test score right so imagine that this person in the same test score same test same score this person got 7 over 15 and this person got 8 over 15. who did better this person right 8 over 15 same way because it is against the same denominator right when fractions have the same denominator we just compare their numerator okay so which one is bigger this is bigger than this and so we can put the sign and say oh 7 over 15 is lesser than 8 over 15 right let's see some other examples and then we have something like we have 13 over 14 and 12 over 14 sorry over 14 which one is bigger which one is bigger of course we can simplify this further so since they have the same denominator i leave it as it as, as it is so which one is bigger this person has more because they have the same denominator so this person has 13 out of 14 and this person has 12 out of 14 who has more this fraction is bigger than this fraction so if we were to arrange them in ascending order or descending order let's say we have three fractions 13 over 15 8 over 15 and i also have 7 over 15. which one is the biggest since they all have the same denominator okay we can arrange them in ascending order such that ascending means from smallest to the biggest which one is the smallest this person has the least this is 7 over 15 followed by the person that has 18 over 15 followed by 13 over 15 so this is ascending order and if we arrange it from biggest to smallest we say 13 over 15 that would be descending order 8 over 15 is descending is reducing 7 over 15 okay so when fractions have the same denominator we only compare the numerator because we are comparing them against the same basis now let's see fractions with the same numerator right with the same numerator they have the same what does that mean look at this sugar cane they are the same right same sizes so imagine if i break this into four and i share this among six people which group of people would have the bigger portions or the bigger parts this because dividing this into four will give me bigger sugarcane pieces than this that i'm dividing into six okay so just imagine it like you are dividing or breaking those things into pieces right so the one with the smaller denominator would certainly be bigger because the parts are bigger okay so we can have examples like if, if we have something like 15 over 2 and 15 over 7 which of this fraction is bigger or smaller this is bigger because if i divide this into two it gives me bigger parts than this so 15 over 2 is certainly bigger than 15 over 7. what if we are to arrange and we have something like 8 over 5 8 over 3 
And then let's say we have 8 over 2. Which of the fraction? Which one is the smallest? Okay, this will have smaller parts because we are dividing it to 5 places. So this is the smallest. Would write 8 over 5. I'm arranging it in ascending order. Followed by O. It's about the way 8 over 3 because the one that I divide into 3 will also be smaller than this. And this will be the biggest. 8 over 2. So this is the ascending order and if we arrange it the other way around from bigger to smallest we we'll say they are descending so which of these would be the biggest fraction right the one with the smallest numerator so that would be 8 over 2 followed by 8 over 3 followed by 8 over 5 and so we say this is what this is descending order this is the way it's descending so which fraction is bigger, 8 over 5 or 8 over 3? Which one is bigger? Are they equivalent? No. Which is bigger? This fraction, 8 over 5, is lesser because it has a bigger denominator, which means that the parts will be smaller than this one. Right? So 8 over 5 is certainly smaller than 8 over 3. And that's the way to think about it logically. So look at it carefully. But what if they don't have the same numerator or denominator? What if they have nothing in common? We make them have something in common. And that's the denominator. How do we do that? So what if they have nothing in common? There are different ways to find out this. Find this out. We have percentages converting it to fractions. But I'll teach you the one method today using the common factor so you have to make them have something in common and so if we have 2 over 3 and then we have 3 over 5 how do we know which fraction is bigger and which is lesser right so we make them have the same denominator right and that's looking for the LCM we look for the LCM and so what's the LCM of 3 and um, and 5 that will be 15 okay so 3 in 15 gives us 5, and then we multiply by 2, so we have 10. We are not adding it, and that we're subtracting. And so this is 5 in 15 is what? 3, and 3 times 3 gives us 9. So which of this fraction is bigger? How do we arrange this? This is 10. This one means 10 over 15, and this one has 9 over 15. So which fraction is bigger? This is bigger. Another example, we have 1 over 7 and we have uh, 2 over 9. Let's have, make them have the same denominator, the LCM. LCM of 9, 7 and 9 should be 63. And 7 is 63 gives me what? 9, 9 times 1, 9. 9 is 63 gives me what? 7 and 7 times 2 is 14. So this fraction can be equivalent to 9 over 63 and this is also 14 over 63 you see 14 over 63 so which fraction is bigger and which one is smaller this is lesser than this so when you are comparing fractions that do not have anything in common using their lowest common factor you will be very very helpful so when you find the lowest common factor then you can arrange the fraction according to their sizes okay so let's see for instance we have more than more than two fractions i want to see if we can arrange a particular fraction in ascending order so if i have two over five i have three over six and i have of one over three now how do i arrange these fractions let's see the lowest common factor to this fraction 5, 6, and 3 uh, should be 30. 5 in 30 gives us 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 in 30 gives us what? 5. 5 times 3 gives us 15. 3 in 30 is 10, and 10 times 1 gives us 10. So which of the fraction, how do we arrange this? From smallest to biggest, if I want to do ascending order. So in ascending order, that will be from my smallest to my biggest. Which of this fraction is smallest? 10 
over 30. Is that not so? So that will be 1 over 3. Followed by which one? 12. That will be 2 over 5. The fraction that is 2 over 5. Followed by which? 15 over 30. That will be the fraction that has that, that's 6, 3 over 6. So when you are comparing fractions that have nothing in common, you can use your lowest common factor, making them have a common factor. Uh, common denominator can help you to compare the fractions and arrange them correctly.